this is day three, our last day here in Ecuador. And we're gonna start off going to a spot where I shot and grazed a monster yesterday. And hopefully we get there when they're eating and we can get a big one. So, what do you think, Dave? Like our chances? We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. You heard it from the guy who knows what he's doing. Dave, surf, dive, dip. Dave. <laughs> so as you can tell when we got to the spot that we went to the day before, it was super murky from top to bottom and it was kind of a waste of time. We made our way back out to the Cobia farm and let the Wahoo action continue. One thing about this area that was super cool was that when you went down about past 30 feet, you can listen closely and hear the whales calling out to one another, which is something you don't get everywhere. This last wahoo I drop on was probably my biggest wahoo of the trip and of course my reel locked up and the tension was too tight and I lost the fish. Mm -hmm. 
a nice fish. We did it today. We did it. Okay, watch out. Lift up. Eighteen Wahoo. Eighteen. Hi, babe. The last, the last day. Yeah. So we just got back and absolutely crushed it. Eighteen Wahoo total. So we uh, we really killed it. So and uh, I think I shot about six or seven myself. David shot a few. Gustavo shot quite a bit. And uh, yeah. Uh, I had one that kind of almost got, or it did get away. I almost had it, and my reel locked up a little bit, and it broke the mono. So it was maybe like a 30 pounder that I lost, and I should have had, unfortunately. But yeah, we did really well. And for those of you who, before you give me crap about these, because there's a lot of them that we shot, first off, they're not regulated here. And second off, they're the fastest growing fish in the ocean. I think they grow like a millimeter a week or something like that. So they are thriving and really sustainable. very sustainable. So, you know, and that's one of the main food sources and all these are gonna get sold to the restaurant here and you know, it's gonna not gonna go to waste. So just so all you guys know, yeah. Hey everyone, just got back to our hotel and we are pretty exhausted. Three days of diving will really do you in. But we had an amazing time, learned a lot on how to approach Wahoo and how to get them to come in. And this trip was just perfect for that because we had so many opportunities, big, small, medium-sized Wahoo. It was just incredible. And we even had some, uh, not really good opportunities, but some tries at some yellowfin tuna, but they were just a little too tough. But all in all, it was an awesome trip. Had a nice variety of diving. Gustavo was a freaking champ in the water man he was he was awesome he was showing us how to do it he was doing it himself he was pointing fish out for us and showing us his little tricks and tips on how to land wahoo but all in all it was a pretty epic trip and i would love to come here and do it again what do you think Dan? uh definitely more wahoo than i've ever seen in my life so many wahoo yeah yeah, epic time here. For sure. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me on this trip. It was a really good one. Hopefully I can do more of these international trips. I really enjoy them, and it's so much fun making videos throughout the whole time to capture the moment. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're new, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below. If you want to know how to get in touch with Gustavo, I'll leave his uh, information in the description below. Go ahead and DM him through Instagram. That's probably one of the best ways. And I will get, catch you guys on another episode. See you later. I'm tired. I'm gonna get home at 5 o'clock in the morning and go to work all day. It's gonna be great.